is the only, maybe I'm being overly dramatic here, but I'm going to say it anyway, the only actual drum beat that um, comes from the, the world of Afro-Cuban music. Everything else is an adaptation from, you know, timbale patterns and then adapted to the drum set or conga patterns adapted to that. Or a multitude of players that then the drummer has to somehow play all those parts together. But the songo is a drum beat that was actually created for the drum set. Okay, so it was created by the drummer of the legendary band Los Van Van, uh, Jose Luis Quintana. Okay, which is that fellow over there. We'll have a, a watch. We'll watch that video at the end. But anyway, there's a, a video on YouTube, by the way. Um, it's a uh, I don't know, an hour, maybe longer, uh, which is a, a tutorial video, one of those, it's an old one, uh, probably ripped from a VHS, because it's from the 90s. Uh, but yeah, of him teaching all these songo movements, uh, today we'll talk about the very standard, the most mainstream version of the songo, but still, it's worth the watch, because this guy is the guy who created the songo, so it's no joke, okay? Jose Luis Quintana Changuito, that was his nickname. Okay, so there's a little bit of a background there. A bit of context. There are a few patterns there that we should be able to recognize from the, um, what was it, the drum solo month. So also from whoever attended the how to develop in the independence month. That was a while ago. I don't know. Dave was definitely here. I don't know who else. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a couple of patterns there. My point is that that are recognizable, not in that form and in that combination, but still. So I'm curious to see if any of you can see those patterns. Any very obvious patterns that we can hold on to, because that's kind of the goal. When I like to look at things from afar at first, because, you know, if I find something that's like, look, my left hand is playing that pattern and if I already know it I can recall that from memory instead of trying to go you know one note at a time if it's not there it's not there and we have to do that but some patterns there you guys know them I know that because I've seen you do that in front of me <laughs> that's the interesting thing about trying to dissect the groove right so for example well let's look yes I would, I would go farther and say they are the same. That, that, that's good. No, they're the same, but the, the, last, the last note of the bar chord go to the last note uh, Yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's true. I just didn't want to say they, the they, they, that's they are, the, they are the same. They are the same, right. Yeah. One note that's and again, and again, I, I'm just going to say that Who's to say that I can accent the last note there as well? Right? It's, just, it's one of those things. But that's well noted. They are the same. Let's look at the right hand. What is the right hand doing? That's half of your limbs sorted out. Quarter notes. 
pretty sure all of us here can play quarter notes. <laughs> so that that's fifty percent done. Okay. Yeah, we all see that, yeah? Quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. That's the right hand and the left foot. Right? Okay, go on. What is it? And then the accent on on B. And one is playing your right hand. No. No, it's not. That all the right hand is doing is quarter notes. Ah, right. All that the left foot is doing is quarter notes. What you're reading is the left hand's rhythm. Right. Okay. So let's take a look at the right foot. Only a question. If you right hand is playing quarter notes. Hey, yeah. he, he. Good, but we, we want to get, yeah, but not in this context. <coughs> so the bass drum, can you, any of you recognize that bass drum pattern? It's obviously repetitive. Four on the floor? No. Hmm? Oh, no, sorry. Four on the floor yeah. is effectively quarter notes. Yeah, 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 sorry, I'm looking at the wrong. It's got a name. We talked about it when we did the drum solo. It was one of the ostinatos that I suggested. Go on, Dave. <laughs> Go on, Dave. Go on, Dave. <coughs> 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 Dave. <coughs> Everyone liked the sound of it, so it wasn't. Yeah, right, it's. it's uh, I can't say much more <laughs> without saying the actual thing. No? 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 Tumbao! You remember that? Everyone was like Tumbao, Tumbao. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? The Tumbao. Oh, it's, it, it's on tape. It's on tape, man. The Tumbao. Okay, which is that pattern. It's almost a bayon, right? It, it, well, let's look at it for what it is. It is a bayon which we did here, so that one should be a bit more familiar, minus the bass drum on the 1-3. So it only has the bass drum at the uh, and then the and of 2, and then the uh of 3 and the and of 4, right? So you have that 1-E, 2-E, 3-E, 4-E, and a 1-E, 2-E, and a 3-E, 4-E. Surely everyone remembers that sound, right? Yeah. Okay? And then we've got the left hand, which is the song. Okay, that's the actual song. Also appears that sort of pattern appears when you're playing rumbas, but that's the songo left hand, right? The pattern is a little bit more complex. Okay, we've got snare drum at the end of one, E and O of two, E and of three. And a four. Right, so as Derek said earlier, these two are the same. That's good. These two are different. That's not good. <laughs> okay? But that's the song. Alright? Now, to learn it. Okay? Many ways we can go about this. We'll um, take it one step at a time. So we'll learn the right hand and the left hand. Oh, we won't involve the feet. We'll just focus on learning what the hands are doing, right? We, al we already know that the right hand is only playing quarter notes. So that's good. It's just a timekeeper. Clunk, 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 clunk. And then we can focus on the left hand's uh, pattern. Okay? Which... Right there, you can see it a little bit more clearly without the feet. Okay? So I'll give you guys, you know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, just to look at it, fiddle a little bit with it. We will take it one note at a time. 
we'll keep the quarter notes going and then we'll add one left hand note at a time just to, for comfort um, but yeah that's what it is okay Way. So we've got a quarter note, and that's going to be. If, if you are only used to playing these things with eighth, like not these things, but drum beats, uh, relying on eighth notes, to rely on a quarter note only can be tricky because sometimes we learn, many times we learn things mechanically, meaning that because we are playing eighth notes, we have more of those gaps filled which means then we can think of the left hand as an on the hi-hat or off the hi-hat. When it's only quarter notes, there's more offs than ons. So it's, it can be a little bit trickier. But, you know, it's good practice nonetheless, right? Um, you don't want to have that crutch that you can only play eighth notes in order to play syncopated left hands. Okay, so we've got this over here. And a two E, and a three E, and a four E, and a three. Okay, that's just what the right hand does. Nice and easy. All right, so now we'll add one left hand at a time. So the first one will be on the and of one. Okay. And a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and on the end of one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. Okay, next one on the E of two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a Okay, let's add the next on the uh. So, one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three. extra right hand there. Pop, pop. Okay, next two notes, because they are grouped together, we can just go ahead and do the E and the and of three. One E and a two E and a three E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a boom chop boom chop chop boom cha chop boom chop boom chop chop boom cha chop And a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e 
The E of four. One E and a two E and a two E and a four E. One E and a two E and a two E and a four E. One E and a two E and a two E and a four E. One E and a two E and a two E and a four E. One E and a two E and a two E and a four E. A one E and a two E and a two E and a four E. I want it to ah ah ba 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 um ba 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 um and a two e up e and four e a one and two e up e and e up Okay, we'll pause there. Let it sink in. Questions? So, all right, to that we can easily add another limb, which is the left foot, right? So now we're going to have this left foot to jingle. All right, so we've got one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e. And the pocket, and the pocket, and the and the That's three quarters of the song. Okay, let's take a look at the other, you know, the tumbao uh, and right hand combination. All right, so let's focus on the right hand and the right foot. We we'll get rid of the left hand and focus on those two elements. Okay, so now we still have quarter notes over here, and we've got the tumbao pattern on the right foot. So L of one. And of two, a of three, and of four. One, a two, and a three, a four, and a. 
a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. One year, a two year, and a three year, a four year, and a one year, a two and three, a four and one, 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 a two and three. A glimpse of what's to come. Okay, so that was the song, or then with the left hand added. Okay, so we gotta put it all together, right? This is gonna be the long phase of the lesson. So far, it's been going, you know, it's okay, it's okay. All right, so here's my approach. Literally one note at a time. Okay, that's just an example of the first three steps. Okay, we, we can keep the quarters going. I, I find that to be a good idea. But then we'll add, you know, we'll play the first snare, then the, the, the next note being the bass drum, then the next note being the, um, you know, the snare again at the E of two. So we'll take it literally one note at a time. Because now we have effectively four-way coordination, right? We've got the left, the left foot playing, the right foot playing, the both hands are playing. It's almost borderline linear groove, meaning no two limbs played together. If we ignore the, the fact that we have that right hand, left hand going together and we get rid of the, no, what did I say, left hand? Right hand, left foot playing together. Um, if we ignore that and just play the right hand, no left foot, then this is a strictly linear groove. Linear groove meaning, once again, no two limbs played together, which is quite unusual if you're not used to playing linear drum beats. Right? Um, and again, the songo, I believe, well, I think either we did the songo here before, uh, when we did the linear drumming month one, last year, or even when we did the linear drumming month, or both, it's also likely. Anyway, right, because if you're only playing a three-way coordination exercise, then if you look at it, no limbs go together, which is a great exercise for your coordination and, and note placement. Okay, all right, so let's do exactly that. Uh, I'm going to pull up the, the whole thing so we don't just look at the first three steps. Okay, there's the, the song go again with the counting. All right, we should have everything we need. We'll focus on, we're going to play those quarter notes. This time, right hand, left foot. Just always going. 
Okay? And we'll play. Yeah, we'll add the first snare drum at the end of one. So, one, two, um, slow it down. I'm sorry, I'm gonna slow it down. One, and a, two, and a, three, and a, four, and a, one, and a, two, and a, three, and a. We'll just do that until everyone's comfortable. No bass from here. Just the first snare on the end of one. The end of two. The end of three. The end of four. The end of one. The end of two. The end of three. The end of four. The end of one. The end of two. The end. Left foot. Jump. 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 Okay, let's add the bass drum. On the uh, one e and a two, three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. And, and then the hand. Alright, I'll let you guys practice that a little bit before we add the next one. Okay, shall we give it another go? All right, from the same place, we're gonna be playing besides right hand and left foot, those are, you know, our ostinato, I won't touch those. We'll play first snare at the end of one, and the first bass drum at the uh of one. All right, so, one, two, three, and a four, and go. One, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a one, e,
One e and a two. One e and a two. Let's try to add the next snare at the E of two. One E and a two E. One E and a two E. One E and a two E. Boom, pop, boom, boom, pop. Next one at the O of two. Okay, we'll pause again, because now the next note that we will add, we will actually go backwards now, we will fill in that gap with the bunny string. The reason why we didn't do that immediately, because I wanted you guys to hear what we have done before with the hands, and relate to that, but now we'll fill in that gap with the bunny string. So it won't be uh, chka ka anymore, it'll be chka kun ka, ka kun ka, right, so no more which is a, in a good, in a way, it's kind of a good thing. Because it's those gaps that kind of throws us off sometimes a little bit. We feel slightly, you know, without a safety net. So if you look at that groove, every single 16th note from then on is occupied by something, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so that beat number two, just beat number two, so two E and a uh, will be okay. Two E and a three, two E and a three, two E and a three, two E and a three.
right? Okay. Sneaky song. Sneaky songo. <laughs> it gives a whole new meaning to cross wires, right? <laughs> <laughs> Really establishing those oscillators, right? That that quartz note on the right hand can move. Pip, 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 catch, 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 It is, uh, you know, it is a sum of many parts, the song. Yeah. So that's what makes it a little bit tricky. Okay, so where were we? Ah, yes. One yen, the two yen, uh. We'll play that. So the first two beats, including its sub beat. And then three and four, we'll just play the chords and out. Okay. So now we should have something like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a boom ba boom ba boom ba ba. Right, that's what the bass room is doing, right? And then the left hand comes in. Yeah. <laughs> let in from me. See, it's a tough one. I think next week is going to be a little bit easier. Samba, Samba, Bossa Nova, and Partido Alto. So next week is going to be all Brazil.
All right, let's say five minutes. Let's try this again. All righty then. That was five minutes. <laughs> All right, so let's try the same thing again. This time I'm going to give us a click so we can do this nice and slowly. Let's see. Okay, so these are 16th notes. Okay, so. This is the quarter note. Okay? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and two E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a one E Oh, I had a tap. Okay, Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, B3. Now we have E and A. Uh. Two snares, one bass. Three ta ta boom. Three ta ta boom. Okay, that's B3. Never stops. 
right. Let's use the, because I, I see that it might be confusing to play on the same surface. Let's use the, the other sound surface. Here. All right, so same thing, just beat three and then just a quarter note after, as a beat four, but empty. So uh, let's see here, three, four, go. gonna fall off the stem uh, okay but that's it let's be three everyone's got it let's put it together with everything else okay beats one two and three <laughs> everyone looks very happy Right, so nice and slow. The only one that we I'm playing yet is beat four. We'll just play that cowbell. That's it. Okay, so take a deep breath. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. E and a one. E and a two. E and a three. E and a four. E and a one. E and a two. E and a three. E and a four. E and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three
Okay. So, I, of course, I'm already play, playing the last bit. So, beat four, as we said at the beginning, is the same as beat two. So, all we gotta do is do that again. Simple. Okay, so let's see. So, shall we try the whole thing? It's a very good exercise. I think it's one of those drum beats that really unlocks a lot of skills all at once. The ability to play against a quarter note instead of always relying on eighth notes or sixteenth notes. It's very you know, useful to, to play, you know, especially more syncopated drum beats with a bit more references or even more references. Now it's just a quarter note. It's a lot more difficult. It's a lot because there's a lot less you know, the crutch is not as sturdy as it is when you know, as it is when you play eighth notes. Uh, anyway, so it unlocks that skill set to play against a quarter note only. Uh, it unlocks the ability to play linear grooves because there's very li little to hold on to. It's very syncopated. It's very snake in the grass kind of groove. Right? It keeps on. It doesn't keep on changing. Let's let's be realistic. It's a one bar groove. It's not the end of the world. But it, it is quite intricate, right? There's a lot going on. And then it also develops independence because you've got that bass drum tumbao, that's always the same. But then because the left hand is not, even the bass drum feels different. Although it's always playing the... If you take away the left hand, that's what you, you end up with. o'clock my friends I won't, <laughs> I won't torture you any longer okay I'll send you guys the the video I'll send you guys the the file with with the notes again again because the song the song is such a, a classic groove it would be very easy to to go online and then find videos and PDFs and everything Wikipedia articles, books, ebooks, DVDs. Oh, do have a speaking of DVDs. Um, if you have the time, definitely do look up Jose Luis Quintana Changuito. If you just if you just type in the father of Songo, I'm sure he's gonna be the one who comes up. 
definitely worth watching. Oh, I've got that video. I forgot about that. Let's close to the session with that video. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. That's Changuito. Okay. That's it, my good people. Next week, Samba, Bossa Nova, Partido Alto.